Hey InSync Drummers over here on YouTube. Each month in my InSync Drummers community, my members get to ask me questions and raise topics for discussion all within the worship drummer space. So, sometimes I'll post the full Q&A over here on YouTube like a month later, um, and other times I'll just take a section, one question out of that full Q&A and post it here, and that is what I am doing in this case. If you want the chance to ask me questions or raise topics for discussion, then do check out the link in the description below. All right, let's get in to this video. So uh, the second question comes from Lester. I just saw something called a kick trigger. Have you ever used one and what does it actually do? I have used one. The one I've used was the Roland TM something module and this is what it looks like. If you think of an electric drum kit, that's triggers. So an electric drum kit works on, they've got stored um, samples, which is a recording. A sample of a snare at different like velocities, a soft one, loud, and then different recordings of kicks. So they've got these samples or recordings stored and every time that the trigger in the kick pad is triggered or senses a hit, then it tells the brain of the electric drum kit to play that sound. So that's how an electric drum kit works and that's what a trigger is. But the way that often, like how we used it for that little bit we did um, at church was we had a kick trigger and just sort of attached to you know the, the top hoop. And we also had a snare trigger and um, I found some really nice sounding, big, beefy, Kick, a kick sample that sounded really nice and a snare sample that sounded really nice. And we, we had our drums mic'd up still, but really what that did was um, it just added that layer of um, polished kick and polished snare sound and just sort of beefed our kick and snare up a little bit. And that um, people often use um, sort of that layering technique even today. Like I know Bethel's live stream do that. They'll, I think they replace the kick sound and the snare sound with these samples that are like super polished. And the reason why is because they're, they're very consistent and sound good every time that that kick gets hit and that sound and that snare gets hit. But they don't have those like fancy little triggers on. All they are using is the signal through the kick mic and the snare mic and then in their kind of digital audio workstation, which is Pro Tools on their computers in that in that studio, they will um, use a plug-in, which is trigger, which is kind of emulating what a trigger is doing. It's picking up every time you hit the kick, it'll just use the audio signal. Um, and every time that it senses a kick being hit, it will replace that sound with a sample. Other times people will maybe not have the trigger on top of the kick or on the snare, but they'll just have other pads to the side. And often you'll see those Roland SPDS Xs. They're what you could think of as triggers. You hit those little pads and they're gonna play a sample sound. And often people, in, especially in worship, will use them for um, like the reverby tambourine or claps or like more electronic sort of sounding stuff. I hope that helps. Uh, and kind of leaves you with a little bit more understanding about triggers. 